guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be taking a look at my 2021 sinking funds and we're going to see what i am going to be adding and they are going to be cash and i still am going to be doing some cashless and then i am also going to show you guys my cash envelopes that i'm going to be using for 2021 and then maybe a challenge that i might be doing for 2021 so we'll see about that so if you want to stick around and see what i got going on please stay tuned so i sat down and brainstorm on what sinking funds i want to do in 2021 because i only had a few in 2020 so um i will be using this little binder here this is something that i had at home i always try to use what i have so that i can basically what i'm trying to do is save money and um but later on i might grab something else i'm not sure but i did just pick this one this is something i had this is a heidi swap memory planner personal size and i um, picked this one because it does already have a thick spine and so usually sinking funds get pretty thick so um that's why i decided to go ahead and use it um so i am going to be showing you the categories that i am going to be adding to it and i'll let you know kind of explain to you why i'm adding those and how that worked for me for 2020 when i didn't add them in these little envelopes i just whipped them up real quick um they're just laminated and some cute little paper these are from happy planner covers and i do have a video where i do show you how i did make the other um cash envelopes that i did for my happy planner and i will link that right there for you but um so the first one what i'm going to do is for my clothes because um i think this goes also important for self-care i figured that out in 2021 how everything is going so i figured that um this right here I can just add money to it and so when I need to get clothes and then also if I want to take like a self-care day and just go grab myself like a nice little shirt or a nice little sweater I'll have a fun envelope just for that all right so next thing I have is my car now for my car I do have my um car maintenance cash envelope that i use and that's for just my oil change but this one right here for 2021 it did get me a couple times because i didn't save for my car inspection and i didn't save for my car decal registration but i had money saved so that was an easy fix but i want to make sure that i do put that in um a sinking funds envelope because my um, car inspection is mostly like twenty dollars car registration is forty dollars so that's sixty dollars but i know that's may not be a lot but um when you're on a budget that every dollar does count so i will have this envelope here for just those two items and then next i have a christmas envelope which, which i didn't do this year so i am definitely doing it for 2021 and i wish that i would have done it for 2020 now that i'm like running around trying to get christmas presents and then i'm getting it out of my savings so this should do better for next year and this will be just for like christmas items that i need to buy so that way i can go ahead and buy early if i see anything on sale or anything like that so i will have a cash fund for that all right so next is moterm um i love these little moterm planners and they are like the cutest little things ever i already have like a personal size and then i already have like a pocket size but i do want to get a versa and the versas are like super cute they're more like um, you get more pockets in them you can use them for like wallets and they're super cute so this is like what moterm planners are they're leather six ring binders and this is my pocket size one so i really love these little planners they are like the cutest things ever so just to show you guys why i'm doing a sinking funds for these so and then this is this one this is why i want to um do a sinking funds for these planners, they're not expensive, expensive, and they're not cheap, but um, it's not something that I like immediately need. So that's why I am just doing a sinking funds and I will just add whatever I can to it um, and I can get it whenever because like I said, it's not a dying need that I need to get it. All right, so the next one that I have is AirPods. AirPods is another one that I don't need. It's not a dying need. It's not something I need for emergency is not something that I need to survive. So I did make a sinking funds and I don't have to worry about putting like chunks of money in there because it's just something that I want. And I decided to just make an envelope for that. And so I can just chuck in there whatever I need to chuck. And I'm saying by the time I probably go get them, they probably will be lowered in the price anyway. So that makes it even better. 
All right, so next I'm going to do one for my son's clothes. Um, and that one right there, I do have one that I use for like his pampers, his wipes, and if he needs other stuff. But I needed to do one for clothes because as being a toddler, toddlers grow out of their clothes super fast. And I needed something that I can kind of have already stashed um, so that when he do need clothes, I can just pull it out of this envelope and buy it. And I do get a lot of clothes from the children's place because they do have a lot of sales and you can do like coupons. So I do um, take advantage of um, buying online from the children's place. All right, so next we have electric. Okay, so my brain thought process was for electric. Um, I've been thinking about doing this one for a little bit. So what I was thinking, okay, this is my plan. Okay, so my plan for this is to, in the summer, to add cash to this envelope. And I'm a little late in the game right now, so I would have to start it when it starts getting warm. So to add money to this one in the summer so that in the winter, when your bill goes up, I can take this extra cash and put it towards my electric bill to help pay down some of the cost because your bill is like always high in the winter time. So, but in the summertime, your bill is usually low. So that's when you can actually stash money in this envelope here. So that is my thought process for the electric for 2021. So I am going to try that and see how that works. And we will just have to see. All right, so the next thing I want to do is for birthdays um, because my son had a birthday and I was like scrambling around trying to figure out what to do. I was trying to scramble around like how much is this, 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 this. So basically, and I had to take that for my savings too. So basically, I figure I should just go ahead and do birthdays in a cash envelope, sinking funds, and that way I will be covered and I can just pull all of this out of here if I need to do like the birthday cake, the presents and everything like that. Some of this stuff seems like elementary but when you sit down you think like I don't need that I'll be fine I'll just take this out of this but when you sit down and think about it it makes a lot of sense to just try to if you can I mean if you can't then that's fine you have to pay your bills but it makes a lot of sense to if you can stick money to the side for things like this it helps out so much so this one right here is for my property taxes. This is the one that I did have in my cash envelope wallet. And I just moved this from here because I didn't print a property tax sticker. I'm not sure what I was doing with that. But I didn't print one here. So I will have to print one that says property tax. But I'm just going to put this one in there for now. Um, until I do print the sticker out. So this right here will be my property taxes. And I do have video showing you guys how I did my sinking funds for my property taxes, which I will link up here for you. And um, this is just a budget sheet from the Conscious Wallet, but I do have some sheets that I'm gonna insert in here for myself to use to track my um, sinking funds. Um, and that is basically, I'm still, and I'm still waiting for them to give me my total for next year for my property taxes i'm like super ready because i want to go ahead and start my sinking funds um for that i want to not start it but i want to go ahead and figure out what i need to set aside for each one of these and um i did do a video on sinking funds um on how i actually um figure out which how much i need to save for things like my property taxes things for like my car tires and stuff like that so i will link that up here for you and that is all that i have going on for 2021 so far for my cash envelope sinking funds but i might add more because 2021 is not out i'm, I'm still in the process of figuring out what things that i need to save for during the year so i'm still processing that um situation there and um so these are the ones that i have so far and then um like i said it's easy to just add in cash envelope if i need to add one and then i will be making a cash envelope um big sinking fund sheet that i can actually keep track of all of these in there and for my cash envelopes they will still stay the same so far that i know of these are my um cash envelopes i still will do hair beauty still have Dollar Tree, still have Eat Out, still have Household, still have Groceries, which it is empty again, still have Car Maintenance, and this is the one I was telling you that I do my oil change in here. Um, I still have Gas, I still have Personal, um, I still have my son, and this is the one I was telling you about where I get his Pampers, well not Pampers, where his pull-ups, where they're still Pampers, but I get his pull-ups 
and this is the money I used there and then planning and budgeting and then miscellaneous so I still have these cash envelopes and I haven't added anything to it so I'm not sure if I will add anything to it in 2021 but who knows 2021 is not yet here and even when 2021 gets here I still can add some to it and I think I'm going to end up doing um, a dollar challenge to see how that works for me I'm not sure if I'm going to do the six month one or I'm going to do the year one so I will kind of decide before 2021 what I'm going to do this is just one of those banks that I got from um and I got something on it I'm not sure what I got on it this is one of those banks that I got from Michael's when they had like the 70 percent off it was like a good deal um and this is just a bank that you just can stuff cash in and then you just do the back like the tabs like the picture frame and they just and it comes out the back so that's how you get the cash out because i used to always wonder how do people get the cash out of these things so that's how you get it out so it's like a picture frame on the back all right so this is um what i will be using to stuff my cash in um and that is guys all that i have for this video for my sinking funds for my challenge and then also for my cash envelope wallet yeah, i wasn't planning on this video being super long i just wanted to pop in and tell you guys exactly what i had going on for my sinking funds and my other sinking funds like my vacation my emergency funds my um car tires that will stay cashless so i'm just going to leave that the way that it is because like i said it's working and um i'm just going to go ahead and leave that where it is and then like they say if it's not broke don't try to fix it so thank you so much guys for hanging with me with this short video if you have not already clicked on the subscribe button please make sure to click on the subscribe button and make sure also to click on the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos and then if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and then like i always say guys until next time peace